Hey everyone, it's Ollie Lindley here from One Number, and I just wanted to quickly share with you a little tip, a little trick that I use often, and I think you might find it pretty useful. So this workbook is in the, the description below if you want to download it from Tableau Public and follow along, or I don't know, see what's going on behind the scenes. But here is the scenario. So what we're looking at is a little text table. We've got the region field up here, and we've got our subcategories running down here, just giving us a normal text table. Now, I have a calculated field called colors to highlight, which looks something like this. So if uh, I, want, I want everything highlighted that where the rank sum of sales is less than this parameter. Now, the default behavior that Tableau has is you're gonna get a color for false and a color for true. Now, you can use an if statement if you wanted to, to, to assign some kind of value or a string output to those. You could say, oh, if, you know, it's greater than the rank sum of sales, then it's, I don't know, color to highlight. And if it's not, then don't highlight or below rank, whatever it is. In our case, I don't really want a color for false. I just want to highlight the colors that are true, right, that meet our rank. So what do you do? Often in this scenario, we do something like this. We choose a very boring gray, right? Something that kind of just falls into the background. We choose this like a bold color so that as you select more, those come to the foreground. That's fine, it works well. But what I think is probably even more useful is assigning a transparent color palette. You see, I've got this over here, transparent to my false <clears throat> colors. So now if I apply that, it actually looks like there is no color with false and we can increase the values to highlight like that, which is really, really useful. So I use this in a, in a couple of scenarios and you, know, you can pull it through whenever you like. What you need to do to build this, uh, and we'll link our uh, create your own custom color palette video here so you can see exactly how to do this. But this is what it would look like in the preferences.tps file that you're gonna to need to edit. Here is the transparent color hex code. It's literally just, how many Fs is that? One, two, three, four, five, six Fs and two zeros. And that's a transparent color. So I hope that's helpful. Um, uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to pop it in the description below. I'd also love to know if you find yourself using this, I'd love to know one or two scenarios in which you found this helpful. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.